Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of my FIFA 13 career. And we're jumping straight into the first game here, which is at home against Leeds United in the League Cup. Uh, made a few changes to the side, resting a few players, starting Naismith and Jelovic, and Coleman in right midfield, and also a young midfielder called Lundstrom, playing him in central midfield. We got off to a pretty good start in this one, which ultimately resulted in this goal that's coming up. Coleman down the right gets past his man well. Decent cross and Leeds failing to get it clear. And it dropped nicely for Naismith who put it away. So we get off to a good start in this one, about 15 minutes in. I'd quite like to have a good cup run in either the League Cup or the FA Cup or both. Um, my objective from the board was to make the final of one of the domestic cups so I figured you know the league cups as good as any to do that in um, but we had some good chances as well in this game it was quite comfortable really Leeds never really threatened our goal and then we win a free kick here after Leighton Baines was pulled down So this is from about 20, 25 yards out. Leighton Baines territory. And he puts it right in the corner. What a goal from Leighton Baines. Definitely worth another look, that one. Look at that, round the wall, curling into the top corner. That was a beauty. Maybe Paddy, Ke Paddy Kenny should have done a bit better with it, but, you know... It's still a great strike from Leighton Baines. And that gave us a comfortable 2-0 win in the end. So we move on to the next round in the Capital One Cup. That was a very satisfying win. Kept a clean sheet as well, which we hadn't done yet in the two games we had before in the league. So that was a, a good... After the win against Aston Villa and now that win, good bit of momentum building. Transfer deadline day was not, didn't have much happening for my team. Uh, this was about the most interesting thing that happened. I had an offer for Tim Howard, which I rejected because I've already said I'm a big fan of Tim Howard. Our next match was away at West Brom, so potentially a tricky one here. Uh, just making a couple of changes to the starting lineup, putting Cahill in next to Jagielka, and also just swapping. Morales for Jelovic um, in the starting lineup up front. And that's the team for this next match. This match on paper is quite a tricky one, especially with the fact that West Brom, um, you know, in real life in the Premier League last season, they did pretty well, finished in the top half, looked pretty good for most of the season. So I was expecting quite a tough matchup. But again, you know, we just played really well. Like in the Leeds game, it was just quite a positive performance. And check this out. Morales crossing the ball for Phil Neville to give us the first goal after 25 minutes. So Morales there replaying, repaying uh, the compliment for Phil Neville after, of course, his great pass for the winner in the Villa game. And that gave us the lead in this one. Quite a comfortable finish there. But yeah, certainly wasn't expecting him to get the opening goal. And he's turning out pretty good for us. I've said in the last episode that I would have quite liked to get a replacement in that central midfield role. But he's actually been pretty successful so far. Getting that goal and getting the assist, like I said, in the Villa game. And surely Leighton Baines can't do it again. Leighton Baines is a beast. Two in two games. Oh. That was even better than the last one as well. That was right in the corner. 
Amazing goal. Amazing. So yeah, we got the win against uh, West Brom 2-0 uh, after another insane free kick from Leighton Baines. And then the next match was the next round of the League Cup at home, at home, at home to Carlisle United. And I made a few changes again. I think I started in each of you for this one um, up front. And I could just tell right from the start of the game that this was going to be a really just a frustrating game to play because they kicked off and they just kept hold of the ball for the first five minutes or so. I just couldn't get it away. As you can see here, they just kept coming back at, at our goal. And they nearly scored. Look at this. A shot off the bar and the post. And then we were finally able to get the ball away for the first time. And, yeah, this was just a really frustrating game. What a good chance this is here. Look at that. Darren Gibson in the middle. And if he'd have put it anywhere away from the keeper, it would have been a goal. There wouldn't have been any doubts about that. But he hit it straight at him. So it wasn't working out with an each be. So at half time, I decided to bring on the more reliable Kevin Morales, in my opinion. And nothing happened in the second half at all. So a match that we should have really been expecting to win quite comfortably has now gone into extra time. And it's just sapping the energy out of the team and we just couldn't get a clear chance this was the best opportunity we had in that first half of extra time and it just wasn't working out for us at all in this game and then getting towards the end of 120 minutes closing in on penalties and could we create one last chance to get the win and we get a corner there this is pretty much the last chance of the game to get the result and progress to the next round. PNR's corner and the header from Phil Jagielka in the last minute of the 120 minutes against Carlisle United. I mean, in a way it was more frustrating to get the goal that late on because of the way the game had gone and you know, it was just unnecessary that we needed 120 minutes to win that game. But we still won it and we're through to the next round, which is the most important thing. And I just hope that for the next few games it hasn't affected the team too badly in terms of their stamina. But as you see there from the stats, I, was, I wasn't I was even the better side really looking at that. Carlisle had more possession and more shots. And so the next game was away in the league yet again to Swansea City and I was expecting quite a tough game again you know Swansea have got a good team but we got off to a perfect start as you'll see here Fellaini bursting through and finishing off after only seven minutes we're in the lead so literally the perfect start and a quite comfortable finish there for Fellaini skidding off the surface because as you can see it is raining for this game and this match was Probably how you'd, how you'd expect it to go if these two teams actually played. Or, well, Swansea certainly played their style. They had a lot of the ball. Look at that for a pass from PNR. Unfortunately, Phil Neville couldn't finish that off. But yeah, Swansea had a lot of possession. And they were in charge of the ball for quite a lot of the half, but couldn't quite put it all together and get a goal. This was probably the best chance they had. And that just went wide. And we were hitting them on the counter-attack as you see here we hit them on the break and this was a sweet move Baines going down the left wing and cutting inside and just look at this passing and the combinations really fluid one touch two touch passing Baines making a run Fellaini to Darren Gibson what a goal that was such a satisfying goal. The teamwork involved was excellent. And it was such a nice finish as well from Gibson right in the bottom corner. And it was a huge goal in the game as well because it gave us a cushion going into half time. Look at the passing and one touch passing at the end. And the second half was just about consolidating the lead. And then late on, Leon Osman getting through. And oh, wait. So we had a pretty bullshit penalty go our way against Villa 
And now we get another one in the last minute of this game. And Vaughan gets sent off as well. So that's really unfair on him and Swansea. Because even if that was a foul, I wouldn't say he was the last man. There was a defender getting back. But, you know, I'll take it. I won't complain about that. And then look at this. I, initially, there was no composure meter in the bottom left. So I paused it and went back and it appeared. And I finished that off for a 3-0 win which is a fine result, really, against Swansea City. We'd ex expected a much tighter game than that, but we really were able to control it from the early stages. And although that penalty was very fortunate, um, I can quite safely say that, you know, I mean, by that stage, it was 2-0 with about one minute left, so it didn't really affect the result. It only affected the margin of victory and allowed Kevin Morales to score another goal. So yeah, league form's good. That's three wins on the bounce, and I think we haven't conceded a goal in the in four games, which is good going. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys for part three.